Okay, so here is the difference between counter control and sentinel control. Counter control and sentinel control. For counter control, what you have is the loop. Okay, the loop uh, repeats for a number of time. You can control that number of time. For example, you want the loop to uh, repeat uh, for six time. Okay for two times uh, up to you for 100 times okay, 100 times is too much actually <laughs> so you can count the number of repetition okay so we call the loop counter control loop okay we have two types of loop you have the counter control and the sentinel control for counter control you can count Okay, you can determine the number of time the loop will repeat. So you may use all the three structures, all the three loop structures. You may use the while loop. Okay, you may use the uh, do while loop, and you may also use the for loop. Okay, all three you can use. Okay, in the counter control loop. Uh, structure okay so this is the example whereby you use while loop to count um, okay to repeat 10 times okay you may also use the do while okay and then the for okay uh, simply simple uh, a simple for loop okay where you have the three elements in one line now let's move to the sentinel control the sentinel control first thing first what is meant by sentinel sentinel means the n value the n value sentinel the last kali okay the last result sentinel okay the n value the last value so what is meant by the last value is this okay so instead of uh, the uh, known counter you do not know the number of repetition that the uh, loop will uh, repeat okay you do not know the number of time the loop will repeat it all um, the repetition is based on the value okay the value maybe you assign the value or the value is given by the user okay now let us take a look at this example using the while loop. Now, the sentinel control, you can only use two structures, okay? The while loop and also the do while, okay? The while loop structure and also the do while structure. For for loop, the for loop can be used only with counter control. Okay, if you want to use for, remember, it can be used only with counter control. Something young, you can count the number of repetition. Okay, for sentinel control, you may use while or do while. Now, if you write a program, you do not know, you are not so sure what or which loop you want to use. So, always opt for while loop. Okay, always use while loop. Now, this is the example okay now for the sentinel you will base on the value okay that value will allow you whether to continue executing the program or to exit the loop okay let's take a look at this example now uh, this is the same thing initialization you initialize the a variable okay the location for answer to have the value y okay so there is one location the name is answer with the value y okay now then what you do is you check as long as the answer is equal to y okay so of course you have stored the y and then when you compare this one it will evaluate to true right it will evaluate to true why because we have just thought why and then when you check of course 
whatever value you store in y, you store in answer is y, y is equal to y. When this yield to true, then the uh, execution will go into the uh, loop within the loop okay within the curly braces it will execute it will execute the statement and just before it exit okay just before it um uh it reaches the ending brace it will get another value why you have to get another value so about you want to go for the second round okay you want to go for the <clears throat> next circle okay so get another value now when you get another value of course the user will enter for example yes or no so if the user entered no then in your answer okay you will have the value no now say that the user entered no okay no then okay it goes to closing brace and what happen is the control will go up to the uh, constraint. It will evaluate. Okay, it will evaluate. Now check. Is the value in answer is equal to y? Just now we accept we entered n can. So this is evaluated to false. If this is false, then immediately the control of the execution will move okay um below the closing brace okay you got that now this is another example where you ask the user to enter the value okay enter a value see in value this is the initial value okay next check is the value not equal to zero if the value is not equal to zero if this is true if the value just now not equal to zero if this is true then you go into the loop then execute whatever statements that are relevant here whatever statements that must be executed here okay done um performing the execution next before you move to the closing brace then you have to get another value okay this is uh, to indicate that you want to move to another cycle okay get the value so there is one location the name is value okay the first value done okay if this is true then you execute this statement next you get another value whatever value you have will replace the previous value stored in the allocation okay then go up and check okay if the value is a zero what happened if this value is zero then it will stop the execution it will exit from the loop okay now let's take a look at the example using the do while do while put the same thing okay you have to have the initial the initial value you have to have the initialization statement okay and then uh, execute the statement then you check okay uh, check before you check of course you have to get the uh, next value okay get the initial value execute okay and then get the a next value then check the next value okay and then you have to if this is true then you have to go back and execute okay as long as the answer what whatever value stored in the location answer is uh, not equal to n then you have to execute okay repeatedly if the value entered is equal to n then you exit okay